Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry for letting you wait so long for the next reaction. Um, I will now, probably the next three or the next two episodes of this reaction will come really fast, so you might get some more comp content to watch. Um, I just want to say for everyone that arrives, for the first time, I have to really cut this reaction. Very, very short, very, very short clips, because Viacom, that owns South Park, is very very notorious for striking content creators doing the reaction like even five clip the uh, five seconds of a clip are sometimes enough for them to strike me and i'm mainly a youtube streamer and if i get a strike well then i cannot stream and so i have to be really careful just as an explanation why those clips will be very very short now honestly it's been so long since this episode came out like three weeks already and already now it's about Mr. Hanky and some sort of scooters because of South Park Phone Destroyer. But that's actually it. So I haven't been spoiled anything so far. People like my moderators in the chat are really, really careful to whenever someone accidentally spoils something to delete that message or are like, don't read this Pharaoh and so on. So I go in completely blind and I will definitely this time write down again whenever I notice something that I want to talk about at the end. Okay, let's just get started. I really like where this is going. Like lots of movies start like this with the narrator. Uh, I want the credit card number. You want to use your mom? <laughs> let's do your mom. Red flag. Ugh, they all have apples. I got a feeling this is gonna be ridiculous. Oh my god, I just noticed the integrity shirt. Shouldn't have been important. <laughs> there was a week. Okay, he's gonna ask them. They can. Oh, yeah. Oh, and he has his head down, the poor guy. They are gonna all be stuck in traffic with the scooters. And he will be the only one getting around town. Is there some reference that I'm not getting? It seems too ridiculous to come up without any, without referencing anything. Oh yeah, I think I saw this image in South Park Phone Destroyer. There's gotta be a horror movie that I haven't seen. Were you guys mad when you get, got money as a child? I was actually always pretty happy when someone gave me money. <laughs> Instead of candy. Oh, I wanna pause that. Those are all so good for Phone Destroyer. Sci-Fi Timmy! Mecha Timmy was there! Oh my god, fuck it. I need to... Well, Mecha Timmy from South Park Phone Destroyer, but the side of that... I don't see anything else. However, there were some other pictures before. Alright, here we see them all. Well, Mecha Timmy is the only one, I think. Is that Ice Sniper Wendy? I don't know. I don't really see Ice Sniper Wendy a lot. But aside from that, Butters? What the hell is Butters costume? Is he like a little sheriff star and that's it? But Mecha Timmy made it into the episode. Nice. What do you mean? You can't use oh, he's gonna stop Wi-Fi or something? Public Wi-Fi? Yeah, integrity farms. Oh my god, all the costumes. Great with the Cartman! Wait! Wow. The bean one is awesome. It reminds me of uh, Plants vs. Zombies. Tough Waiter, a ninja, an angry bird. Probably Luke Skywalker and Leah. Is that like from Tron? Oh my god, the, B, uh, <laughs> the P1. P? It's P's, right? Pretty cool. I love stuff like, oh, I thought that was Grand Wizard Cartman, but it's just fucking kind of the colors of the clown. So no Grand Wizard there. That's supposed to be the Flash, I guess. Behind there, that looks actually like my new kid at some point in Fractured Butthole. And Red? Red wasn't like Asian Queen Red, I think. Oh my god, there's so much going on. Oh, there was like a... Uh, oh my god. There's so much to look at. I cannot do this to you guys. Wow, they, they went really creative. Bane... They went really creative with this episode and all the different costumes. You should... You should wear a costume. 
Why not skip? Go home for it. <laughs> for a short amount of time. Zombie apocalypse. Reminds me of Shaun of the Dead. Who's that guy? Who's token? Kenny's gonna die? It's been some time. Wait a second, did Kenny get off before? Harry Potter! Who said ugly Care Bear? I remember that one. I was able to spend the rest of the night with my friends. Kenny is the narrator. So I totally feel like um now at the end with the scooters. Like those horror episodes. I don't know how is it called, but it was with the with the ah uh, how's it called? God damn it. The guy that made the meme with the you didn't duck the shot with the pool table. I don't know how's it called, but in, in German it was something like um Geschichten aus der Gruft and Gänsehaut, which is like goosebumps or stories from the tombs or something like that. Like scary stories that were only like 20 minutes long and probably that was what was referenced here in that episode. I remember, for example, an episode where the hands of the people were suddenly communicating and some form of supreme leader was one hand and it was rallying up all the other hands and then the, all, the hands were cutting each other up and then crawling around and killing people and shit and releasing the other hands. That's what I got reminded of. But I'm sure I missed like a ton of pop references in uh, this episode because um, I didn't really figure out which episode or what movie they were really ref uh, referencing with Mr. Hanky being around all in the dark and... Um, Taking out all those scooters with him being a dark image instead of showing him, even though it was obviously who it is. So I think like, please let me know which maybe horror movies or short story kind of horror movies were referenced. Um, but what have I? What else do I have to say about the episode? Um, it was a Kenny episode, and I am usually not a fan of Kenny episodes because Kenny episodes always happen to be wholesome. And I absolutely don't care for wholesome, wholesome stuff in South Park. Like, not at least. I come for be as offensive as possible and make me laugh as hard as possible. And it wasn't like a really funny episode. It was just, yeah, again, Kenny wholesome stuff with him being the poor guy and people, ah, and ah, we're separated because ah, the poor kid doesn't have a cell phone. Um, I guess, like, the cell phone thing I could see uh, that the creators were, well, they have kids and they are kind of at a situation where lots of really irresponsible parents give their children smartphones and with a smartphone they generally give them access to all the hellish things in the web and they are able to being exposed to stuff that they should not be exposed to. Like back in the day, Little Pharaoh was checking out the lingerie part of, I don't know, the clothing catalog that would be sent to me. So when I was like Kenny age or South Park kids age, kids age fourth or th third grader, we were looking at stuff like that and got excited. Well, with this shit, you have access to everything like... Go to Live League, you can watch people get killed. Go on the most horrific hardcore pornography site and whatever. So I feel like it's a huge problem for parents because so many parents tend to be so responsible with their children, giving them smartphones. Then there's going to be some kid in school that is a little bit hardcore about stuff and says, hey, oh, check this out. I sent you or whatever. And then your kid is already yeah, affected by it. And it's hard to then tell your child, yeah, you're going to be the only one or you're going to be the the loser bunch of the class that will not have a cell phone. Even though what was referenced here was the child being too poor for a smartphone. I think like in today's age already, you get a cheap smartphone affordable for nearly everyone. Um, but more of an issue, it's most of the time that uh, there's parents who are more responsible than other parents and don't give that child already a smartphone with full access to everything the internet has to offer 
but most of them have like when I was uh, like teaching on a elementary school they were all having like most of them were playing Clash Royale and I don't think their parents would be sit behind them and watch them play Clash Royale and not doing anything else or whatever so they were already in, and I already like heard where they were laughing about stuff that is definitely for people of uh, the age of like how is it called r-rated <laughs> in america so yeah i think that's that's like a separate topic and i could could see them uh kind of talking about this in this episode at the beginning um now let me know if i missed any cool costumes and i will definitely re revisit the episode to figure out those costumes there was definitely one at least one uh phone destroyer character with mecha timmy who just got nerfed really hard and um i like i really like that stuff uh, like that was my favorite part about the episode was the creativity like them having to design all those um characters and i saw a lot of costumes that i can acquire in my uh, fractured butthole playthrough that i'm currently doing uh, i definitely noticed the flame shirt and those googles which i think is like basic elementalist um equipment or costume in the game so i like all those cross reference i'm i am a sucker for pop pop culture reference so i was excited to see the different star wars stuff and all the bunch even though i don't care about star wars but i really like seeing those so point out all the things that i have either not included in the reaction or have missed um i think that's that pretty much uh, was it with my reaction already I definitely missed a lot of pop culture stuff. I do like the continuity with Tegrity Farms. It was just short, very short, but it's still there. Stan actually not having his normal outfit, but the Tegrity shirt. I like that because the Tegrity Farm uh, was for me definitely the best episode by far in the season. Now this episode, I would probably rate rather low um, because the thing I appreciated by far the most about it was just the costumes and i don't like i don't even remember being like really like laughing a lot about it i definitely and maybe because i just caught on at the end when the narrator turned out to be kenny that it was one of those um 20 30 minutes uh, goosebumps episodes from back in the day when i was a child i think like if i figured that out more early i could have probably seen more of those stuff being referenced or how it was shot and so on like my favorite show community i mostly immediately see they're going for a godfather episode or whatever and then i can see that the uh the similarities and really appreciate them and since i figured it out so late i could not do that so and this time i think you guys have a lot to tell me in the comments below that i missed and i will appreciate very much appreciate you telling me all the stuff i missed until then I see you in the next episode. Pharaoh out.